Hello everyone. Today our topic of discussion is the fibroblast. Now fibroblast is one of the principal cell which is found in the connective tissue. Okay. Now these cells are numerous and derived from undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. Okay. So they are derived from undifferentiated mesenchymal cells of our body okay now each cell is flattened or fusiform in shape okay so each cell is flattened or fusiform in shape now fibroblast has a centrally placed nucleus so let me draw a fibroblast so that you can appreciate how it actually looks like okay so this is a rough schematic diagram of the fibroblast see okay so here is a centrally placed nucleus and it presents some numerous processes see these are the numerous cytoplasmic processes now young and active fibroblasts possess open faced nuclei and abundant basophilic cytoplasm okay so what is the nature of cytoplasm it has basophilic cytoplasm okay now apart from having a basophilic cytoplasm with rough surfaced the endoplasmic reticulum okay so it also has rough endoplasmic reticulum now there are numerous golgi apparatus along with mitochondria okay now when the fibroblast become old okay now when these fibroblast okay so it has some granules as well the cytoplasm now when the fibroblasts become old okay and are generally inactive they are converted into fibrocytes so they get converted into fibrocytes okay from fibroblast to fibrocytes when they are old now these fibrocytes have flattened and hyperchromatic so these fibrocytes have flattened and hyperchromatic nuclei okay now and a film of cytoplasm so it also has a film of cytoplasm with certain granules okay now let's discuss about the function of the fibroblast okay now let's discuss about the functions of the fibroblast okay now we are going to discuss about the functions of the fibroblast so first of all number 1 the fibroblast help in formation of collagen fibers okay so they help in the formation of the collagen fibers by synthesizing one important protein which is known as the tropocollagen proteins so these tropocollagen proteins are important while synthesizing this collagen fibers now what they do is they set free these materials in the extracellular space now collagen formation is generally impaired in vitamin c deficiency so vitamin c is a vital component for the formation of the collagen fibers okay if there is a deficiency in vitamin c the collagen formation won't take place properly now in addition the fibroblasts secrete in some situations sorry let's change the color again now in some situations they secrete proteoglycans okay which helps in formation of the ground substance the reticulin 
for the reticular fibers elastin for elastic fibers okay so one major importance of the fibroblast it is in helping of wounds by continued proliferation and subsequent conversion into fibrocytes okay now one of the important function of the fibroblast it is in healing of wounds okay, sorry i missed you so it helps in healing of wounds by continued proliferation and subsequent conversion into fibrocytes now in the process of repair some fibroblast form granular tissue when embedded in a vascular stroma now fibroblastic activity in wound healing is delayed by the glucocorticoids okay so it is delayed by the glucocorticoids so it signifies that glucocorticoids acts as an antagonist in the fibroblastic activity in wound healing okay so remember this glucocorticoids all right now the fibroblast also acts as stem cells okay so what is the other importance of the fibroblast that it helps as the stem cells okay so they help in the formation of other cellular components by doing the stem cells all right so this was about the fibroblast okay in a short informative video i hope you understood well thanks for watching